Jet Lawrence delivered a weekend to remember in Paris, showcasing his remarkable ability to adapt and elevate his performance under pressure. Despite encountering a few early challenges in the whoops, he turned it around by Sunday, effortlessly blitzing past Cooper Webb in the same section to claim the lead. Lawrence's knack for problem-solving and rapid adjustment was on full display as he ironed out any mistakes and dominated the track. Except for an unfortunate encounter with a backmarker on Saturday that cost him the moto win and the overall victory, Lawrence was flawless. On Sunday, he secured wins in all three motos and clinched the Super Pole, cementing his reputation as a game-changer on the track. One of the standout moments of the weekend was Lawrence introducing a massive quad jump, pushing the boundaries of what seemed possible on the Paris track. Cooper Webb managed to hit the quad occasionally after witnessing Lawrence pull it off, but it was evident that Jet was setting a new benchmark. His incredible whoop speed and audacious moves, including an unforgettable pass on Webb in race two, underscored why he's a step ahead of the competition. With his uncanny ability to innovate and bring extra speed when it matters most, Jet Lawrence is proving to be the rider everyone else must catch. As the offseason looms, his competitors have significant ground to cover if they want to challenge him in 2025. Meanwhile, the growing rivalry between Levi Kitchen and Hayden Deegan is heating up as anticipation builds for the 2025 Supercross season opener at Anaheim 1. Both young stars, who were teammates not long ago, have been fueling their competitive fire with some sharp online exchanges, hinting at a fierce battle on the horizon. In the 2024 AMA Motocross Championship, Deegan clinched the 250MX title, showcasing remarkable consistency with multiple podium finishes and a victory at Unadilla. Kitchen, however, finished the season on a high note, winning three of the last four races, including a breakthrough first national victory at Millville, but ultimately ended up behind Deegan in the standings. As preparations for Anaheim 1 intensify, the tension between the two riders has escalated. Deegan shared his confidence in achieving an easy top three finish, prompting a quick retort from Kitchen, who reminded him of his absence from the motocross of nations, implying that Deegan missed an opportunity to prove himself on the international stage. The exchange only adds to the intrigue of their rivalry, with fans eagerly awaiting their head-to-head -head clash in the upcoming Supercross season. Early indications suggest that Deegan is leaning toward racing the West Coast series while Kitchen may focus on the East Coast, but the excitement will hit fever pitch when they eventually face off. Bring on Anaheim 1.